Hey, Don here. Uh, this is going to be my video series on the XBMC solution for the Raspberry Pi by Element 14. I have uh, several videos, so as soon as I get them edited, I will put them up. And thanks for watching. See that? XBM's XBMC solution from Element 14. This is this is my XBMC solution solution to what well I'm glad you ask what it is is a nifty little keyboard it's a wireless keyboard mini of course uh, you get a four gigabyte SD card let's see Try to hold it there. Four gigabyte SD card with Ras Rasp BMC already installed. That is the Raspberry Pi operating system with XBMC, which is the famed Media Center. Opera. Um, I used to think it was an operating system, but it's really a desktop because uh, if you know if you're into Linux uh, then you know what I'm talking about um, XBMC you can install it and run it from within your Linux operating system on on any of your desktops KDE genome that's the USB cable that comes with it genome um, can't think of all the rest of them it'll run in KDE and genome uh, 2 and genome 3 I know for sure I'm not so sure I think it'll run in pretty much any. I mean, it really depends on your video drivers. If you don't have 3D video drivers, it won't run for some reason. And you also get a uh, you get this. And it looks terrible like that, doesn't it? You get this. Um, uh, my mind keeps going blank. You get this um, HDMI cable. And uh, that doesn't have to go back in the bag, does it? And and you get that was a three yeah three foot HDMI cable. You get a um, I don't know which I have two monitors to look at. I have I forget which one to look what screen to look at. This is my um, my uh, this is the Cat Forty. Cat 5E, I believe it's called. Cable. Get your little tiny, tiny, tiny. Hey, look, you can almost see that. <laughs> um, that is the uh, layout. Of course, it doesn't matter. You'd have to, if you were getting this, you'd have to. You need one of these to read it if you're like me. And you still can't see it that good. So <clears throat> that's my test. Oh, I'm going to show you one other thing inside of this little box. It has a nice little diagram, getting started diagram. And uh, so, just say something else you need. Uh, in order to use this. This is, I mean, you could use it on a computer if you wanted. You could just plug that into your computer. But, because it's just, uh, it's, but it's what it's designed for, and what, why they put all these particular things in here, is to go with this. Little, I've already, of course, unpacked this stuff, but uh, that is the X, is the, uh, Raspberry Pi. I've always followed these since I think it's 2007 when they first started talking about making them. I followed them all along and I finally just now got one. Oh, well, papers got all wadded up. When I put it back in there, I dropped it. That's why they put it in that hefty, hefty little static shield so that you won't short it out on the carpet when you drop it okay there's the XBMC look how little that is that is an actual complete
computer. It has um, mini USB. Let's see, I'm trying to. Yeah, there it is. Where my fingers going. Mini USB is the power input. That was the first thing that I did not expect. Um, I thought it'd be a regular barrel connector, like all electronics for the last 40 years, but uh, of one size or another. But it, that's what they use, and. Uh, that made me have to do a four-day search to find the right, just the right power supply. I found out that it's, the XBMC is particular about the right, uh, the, about the uh, about the amperage and the voltage. Uh, you start losing it when you start see on this end. You have your USB and your Cat5. When you start plugging in things to the USB, the voltage will drop to where it might act up and. Uh, I'm going. F I'm going to have one in there for sure. The little uh, wireless dongle for the keyboard. So, and then of course you might want to put uh, the little. Uh, I don't know if I showed. Yeah, I showed the. It's a four gigabyte. Now, if you really did record any videos or you know save, you can save videos in XBMC. I've been using it. Uh, I watch all my TV on the computer. And uh, I switch back. If I want to use XBMC, then I use that. And if not, I just use my desktop and use VLC Media Player. You know, the web, uh, the web browser, Firefox is my favorite. Um, but, uh, and you can save things in XBMC. There's a little space. There's a spot in there. If you, It takes a while. It took me two days to get my XBM set up the way I wanted it. Get used to using it, but... Um, you can save videos and uh, so if you're going to do that you would fill that 4 gigabyte up pretty fast so you would need to, you might want to put a USB stick in there uh, and save to it you can s inside XBMC you can set uh, your that's your uh, composite video output and your uh, mini 3.5 millimeter uh, stereo audio output and um, let's see I've already showed all that I know I can't stand all this moving around on video stuff, but it it is hard to hold still. Okay, um, so I'll have to get all this hooked up and uh, make a proper review. It has, I think I mentioned. I don't know if I mentioned before. It has um, HDMI, which does audio and video. Yeah, I didn't mention that yet. HDMI, which uh, which sends out audio and video. The only thing is my TVs. Um, I have a nice monitor, 23-inch monitor. But it's a DVI monitor, but it's a DVI only. It's not HDMI and DVI. Uh, well, I me mean personally. What I really got this... Um, I don't think I remember to say thank you, uh, Element 14, for allowing me to uh, review element 14 for uh, allowing for sending me this uh, XBMC kit for free and allowing me to review it now the uh, Pi the Raspberry Pi doesn't come with it you're supposed to already have one well, I didn't so I went ahead and bought one they're smart enough see they knew that if they sent me that I'd buy one of those things <laughs> so uh, I've got to get it all set up now I'm going to have to run me a cable over to my TV, my old TV, or uh, I use S-Video from this laptop that I'm recording on uh, to watch my TV, uh, you know, whichever, and then I send my sound out to my sound system, my stereo, and uh, <coughs> so what I'll have to do with this is either run that cable from the uh, composite, I think I may have a little adapter. Can't get that in the screen, right? Oh, here we go. I'm gonna look over here. Um, the composite out to the uh, to the TV. Uh, there is an HDMI on this laptop here. I almost hit a button, but that's an output. I don't think I've never used it. I'm gonna look and see. 
don't think it goes both ways. I think it's only an output. I don't think it could be an input as well. If it was, I could do that. I could hook this up to my laptop with HDMI. I'm going to read about it. Look, look through the, I think I have the manual downloaded. But, uh, okay, so that's my first try at uh, introducing my what I'm going to do here. So, um, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll come back later with uh, okay. This is a little bit better view of the XBMC. Uh, what comes in your XBMC solution box from Element 14, and it's falling out. Okay, I'm gonna open her up now. Um, I've already unpacked this stuff. So you can see, I'll show you in the box here if it'll come in good. Uh, that's a little diagram, getting started diagram. And it's actually pretty handy and it's big enough you can see it, which is a plus in this world of tiny, tiny instructions. I mean, that is, well, ridiculous, of course. Um, luckily, you know, most people, most manufacturers put a downloadable a website up or a downloadable PDF or something like that. And uh, I did get the quick start guide on this. Um, downloaded, uh, probably haven't found anything more detailed, but there should be some more out there. It comes with the uh, 4 gigabyte. Uh, SD card with uh, RAS BMC R A S B M C I believe is what it's how they spell it and that is the Raspberry that's the operating system for uh, with the XBMC interface on it for the Raspberry Pi single board computer and this is a cool part right here this is the main main part I would consider of it it's the um, mini wireless keyboard. It uh, oh, I took it out of the picture, didn't I? It um, it's rechargeable. I think I can get this out. There we go. It has a has a battery there that uh, you're not supposed to have to replace for a long time. It has. Uh, your wireless dongle in there. I'm not going to try to dig it out right now because I've never dug it out before. I don't know exactly what it takes. I saw someone else already do a video on that anyway. Um, you've got your uh, charging cable for the keyboard. It's a mini micro USB to USB, micro USB B to USB A. And that's just the box that it came in. It has a little box inside of a box. Has some little bit of quick start information on there too. You need a, one of these to read it. I do. And uh, you get a USB cable. I'm sorry, not a USB. You get a uh, you get an a, a HDMI cable to uh, hook that up to your HDMI monitor, TV, whatever you've got, and it does send audio and video. And you've got a, uh, that was a 3 foot, this is a 10 foot um, Cat5 Cat cable. So you can hook up to your network. And um, that's what comes in that box. Now, I'm going to put those back in there because i got another box. Now, that thing is really cool. You know, you really could just use that on your computer uh, with XBMC or, you know, to control anything you want on your computer. But the whole point of this little kit is for one of these. The Raspberry Pi. And I, uh, I got that XBMC XBMC solution for free and all I have to do is review it but this did not come free it does not come with that kit and that's the Raspberry Pi I had to 
buy that, which is fine. I've been wanting one since they came out. Uh, it's a good excuse to get one, right? Because I'm going to set this up for my mom. She's going to love me for it. And she can watch TV with it. I already use XBMC on my computer, and I prefer a regular keyboard anyway. I have it all set up that way. The Raspberry Pi, they call it a single board computer, and credit card size, and it's not much bigger than a credit card. That end has your uh, Cat5, USBs, and uh, you get two USBs on there. Then you've got your audio, uh, your Mini 3.5 millimeter uh, uh, stereo audio. That, if you're like me and you have old TVs, um, then you're going to need to use that composite video out. Uh, that's your power uh, in your chart. Uh, it's a micro B USB B, and uh, you'll have to make sure you get a charger that works with that. I'll show you that right now while I'm at it. I did a bunch of reading. I actually read for four days and read all kinds of information and forums and everything else. Uh, that micro USB, the smaller one there, goes into that. And uh, you can get chargers that don't work like this, but I decided this was the actually the charger I wanted. So I'll show you the charger. But it plugs in to your board on that end. It looks uh, funny, all plugs into your board on that end, and um, this is the charger I got. Um, it's made by Adafruit, Adafruit, and I can't find the spot, there we go, it's, um, this is uh, a 1.5 volt, uh, 1.25, I've already forgot, let me get my glass out, it's, um, Yeah, crazy. The output is 5.25 volts at 1 amps. And they say, from what I've read, people that have been using these Raspberry Pis, uh, when you start plugging in USB components into that board, uh, it, it will draw the power down to where the board will act up and not run right, or maybe reboot or something. So, this seems to be the preferred type of uh, power uh, and charger. Uh, power supply. Keep calling it a charger. It it is a char. It's a, uh, these are chargers for phones and such is what they market them as. But it's going to be a power supply because there's no battery in here to be charged. There is no battery. They state that in the. Uh, you could add one. They say uh, if you wanted to hold your time. Uh, it says you have to get your time from the network uh, if you want your time to be set. And uh, just so happens I have a server server on my website, and I just turned on the serve the time here the other day since I know I was getting this thing. Um, that is your HDMI output. If you have a monitor or TV that will uh, work with that, there's the back side, and down there, right there, is where you're going to put the uh, SD card that I showed you a while ago. That houses your uh, operating system, and uh, when you run an XBMC, uh, yeah, you can you know save videos if you want instead of just streaming them and watching them. You can stream them and save them. And uh, yeah. of course, I'd fill that four gigabyte up pretty quick if you save very many. But uh, you could always put you uh, that's back to the good power supply. You could always put you a uh, USB stick in there of whatever size you want. To, and you can go in the in XBM. Quit, quit rattling on the paper. You can in the XBMC um, setup. You can uh, tell it to say uh, tell it to. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? In the XBMC setup, you can you set up other sources. Like if you want to put some videos on your USB stick, 
but I haven't figured out how to change where you save if you save a video you know that you're streaming down that you're downloading streaming streaming to you um, I haven't uh, figured out how to change where it goes it goes inside the expensive program in, in my Fedora setup it does my Fedora Linux setup so I'm sure there's a way to do it you might have to even if you had to hand edit some uh, config files or something but uh, I didn't see an easy way to do it inside the GUI so anyway I put it all back together while I was talking I do that okay um, that is my kit this is the kit whoops that's the Raspberry Pi that you gotta buy and that's the kit that well you gotta buy that too but I got it for free because uh, they like me that much now you, you could apply and, and they pick the people that they want to write the reviews by uh, by their standards so alright that's a little bit closer look at uh, the parts now I'll have to get it together and come back with a video showing it in action okay